Hello everyone, Daniel here from the Next Issue Podcast. On today's video, I'll be doing a review for Rat City number one. This is a new book from Image Comic, a new book for the Spawn universe. So let's go take a look at the creative team before we get into all this. This book is written by Erica Schultz with art by Zay Carlos, colors by J. David Ramos, FCO Placencia, and Marcelo Izzoli, letters by Erica Schultz. Uh, we have some really cool covers as well. Stay tuned for that at the end of the video. So uh, this book comes out this week as of you watching, the, as of the recording of this video. Uh, so this is an advanced review, which I was very, very happy to get uh, a copy of this because as you guys may or may not know, I've been kind of diving into the Spawn universe once again. Uh, it feels like this is the time where they've kind of made a good entry place for a lot of people that haven't been following along. Uh, and interestingly enough, this story, although separate from everything that's going on, it definitely does tie back and have its uh, origins because of all the events that just happened on the main Spawn series. So that's really cool. Uh, so let me give you a quick synopsis. We'll talk more about this book. This extra length first issue of Red City has finally arrived and features the talents of Erica Schultz and Zay Carlos. Uh, in this issue... Peter Kern is an ex-soldier, an amputee, and a hellspawn in a post-war future. But Peter's not dead like Al. Peter got his spawn powers from the nanites in his prosthetic legs, nanites that were affected when Al Simmons initiated the necroplastic detonation in the present. Al had no clue that the effects would ripple across not just space, but time as well. So yeah, this is a future story in the spawn universe which is really cool. I went into this without knowing, like I hadn't read the synopsis. I hadn't really read, read anything on it. And I don't think it's a big spoiler. I think once you go back and I kind of put all the pieces together, you look at the cover, it does look very futuristic, right? Uh, which I think it's like something I had kind of, a detail that I kind of had missed. Uh, but I was wondering like, you know, who is this uh, new Hellspawn? What, what is their deal? And that's kind of what we're seeing here. So very cool premise for sure. Um, I think the book does such a good job of just introducing you into this world. Like, who is uh, who is Peter? Why are we following him? And how all this stuff, like, how he comes to this great power. It was interesting that throughout most of the issue, this doesn't even feel like you like a spawn deep lore type of book. Uh, it just feels like this really cool adventure uh, that you're following this character. Tragedy befalls. Uh, and we kind of go from there, right? There's always conflict. There's always, like, obviously a, a world building of this future, um, or I guess possible future. I don't know. I don't know how the timelines work in the Spawn universe. Uh, I don't know how malleable they are. But, yeah, very cool stuff. Uh, also, Zay Carlos' art is fantastic. Let's go take a look at some of the preview art here. As you can see here, I just love the paneling and the pacing. Some of this stuff really works. I like the, the point of view of these characters. Uh, great designs. I like the little, uh, uh, especially those little touches of red. They really pop right off of the page. That's just like great, great coloring. And and of course, in a future, you have to make it look like, you have to make this world feel and look like the future while still making sure that it feels and looks like a spawn book. Uh, and I think the team manages that, right? These, uh, the headgear, the armor, like it just gives 90s image but definitely updated for a contemporary and also futuristic time. Uh, and I guess, as I mentioned, it, it's a lot of action. It's a lot of world building. Uh, so this is definitely a dense, dense first issue. Uh, as I mentioned in the synopsis, it is extra size. So you're getting a lot of bang for your buck there. Uh, but yeah, this was very, very cool. Really interested in how this is going. So I'm going to keep checking it out. My journey into the Spawn universe continues, and this was really, really fun stop. Uh, so if you have read this book, let me know what you thought about it down in the comments. As always, thank you for watching, everyone. Remember to share, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when we go live. That is most Saturdays, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Stay tuned. We have more comic reviews, trailer reactions, TV recaps, all that fun stuff here in the channel. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.